Hello everyone, welcome back to another vlog here in Nagoya. In our previous episode, we did so many fun activities and also nature. Today, we are going to continue our sightseeing here at Vison. This area was also carved into the mountains area. Like, it literally is built into mountains. And also, this one makes it very rich in natural resources. People come here for many nice activities such as uh, fresh fruit producers, for the spa treatment, there's also a hotel and literally it's a place where you can enjoy and unwind. So today I'm going to walk around and probably do an activity which is Japanese broth making. Now we are inside this store which specializes in making fish stock and it has all kinds of ingredients here you can actually select and combine to make your own and it's one of the only places in the whole of Japan so you can really customize So I've just finished choosing the ingredients to make my fish broth soup and I'm really excited to see how it turned out. Oh. Alright, so I've just gotten my hack fish stock. They even write your name here in front of the package so you know it's yours. And also they actually circle the ingredients that you have chosen. So I have chosen about five different ingredients. You actually just take one sachet which they pack for you and drop it into boiling water depending on the amount of servings. So it makes your life so much easier. So yes, really happy to try these things. Here we have inside here the miso store where it's everything all about miso. You can actually buy different grades of miso. Over here you can see they just look really amazing. Different colors and also different tastes. As well as you can actually make your own miso in the back room. So it's kind of like an all-in-one experience. I always thought there was just one kind of miso. But apparently there's more than that. There's like almost 20. And each one has its own unique distinct flavor. So over here, I have one of their favorite famous cheese tarts. Wow, and it's really nice and solid. Look at that. Wow. There's blue cheese in this. <laughs> it's really good. It tastes so savory. Like blue cheese in tarts, but it's really sweet. It's so creamy and like really high quality. Wow, this is really great. Alright guys, now it's day 3. I am ready for another day of an adventure here. And so far, I really like Nagoya. Most people would think of Tokyo or Osaka, but actually Nagoya has, I think, quite a few nice things to look at. So for today's adventure, we're going to start off with Ise Grand Shrine. And that is the most important Shinto shrine dedicated to the solar goddess Amaterasu. Let's go! Alright guys, we are now here at Ise Shrine. Really crowded and popular today because it's also a public holiday. And actually, this area comprises of many shrines, not just one, but all over the place. So you can actually go inside and have your prayers and do your pilgrimage. Unfortunately, I'm not able to show you guys inside because it's really, really holy and it's not permitted for photography. But you can come over at your own leisure to experience it. Right next to the Ishe Shrine is this really famous shopping street called Oharai Machi. And this is where you can get really traditional street food, snacks, confectionery, some shopping. And it's really, really popular now. You can see really thriving and you can see many things here. you can buy and even like fresh sushi over here uh, confectionery like mochi and even really popular snacks and cookies 
Okay, so over here I have an Akafuku mochi and this is really a proper dessert here. It's actually red bean mochi and rice cake too. So look at it. It's almost like a work of art, spiral looking swirls. I'm gonna try and cut this into half. Like that. Wow, it's really soft. I'm not sure. <laughs> it's so soft. <laughs> okay, I, I'm trying like this. The red bean is so strong. It's so fragrant, but most of all, it's so soft, fluffy cloud, and it has a slight chewy texture. So you can hear my mouth. Mm, mm. Chewy. Okay, so the next food I have to try is from this store here. They're specializing in selling fish cakes. So I have here their best selling, like award winning item the octopus and ginger, golden and massive. So I love seafood. Let's try it out. Look at that. There's octopus pieces inside. And it has a nice bite to it and it's chewy. Wow. Next door, we actually have this place called Okageyocho, which is a street that replicates the Edo period and it's a shopping street. So all of these buildings look really traditional. And they're really famous for cats, especially this lucky cat. You can see it all over in this street and you can buy them as souvenirs. For lunch, we are eating at this really popular the Ise Udon. So you can see over here. Wow, check it out. Look at the colors, they are popping. And uh, it's very bubbly. Just look at it, the colors are exploding. Mm. The eggs give a creaminess to it. And the soy sauce actually is like not too salty. So it's just the right balance. And we have some wakame and seaweed too. It's also cold, which is really refreshing in this hot weather. And a local Japanese taste. I love it. Next up, if you want to see some indoor things, we are here at Toba Aquarium, one of the most visited places in Japan. always loved aquariums and when I heard that there's a huge one here I think I had to come it's a huge dugong check it out huge Wow, there are so many things to see at this aquarium. There's outdoor and indoor. So an outer part area for performances. Penguins behind me. The humble penguin. There's some over here. Ooh. Wow. Like up close. I really enjoyed the aquarium. It's huge. It has 12 different zones. I couldn't complete all of it. And I think thousands of species. So you can really spend a whole day here. Wow, check out this view. So right now I'm gonna have some seafood at this place called Osatsukamado or Ama Hut. So it's basically a place where like the professional sea divers, they dive into the ocean, hand-pick seafood, and then they cook it and grill it. This is so eye-opening for me. Inside the Ama hut, and you can see this is where they grill, and there's a stunning view looking up the hut. So it's a really, really quaint place.
amazing display of seafood that the Ama has prepared. So amazing. We have some squid, scallops, we have clams, and even a grilled mochi, the scallop. So you can see it's really huge and it's all caught in this area, the Ise Bay. Wow, look at that. It's massive. Oh wow. That's so good. You can taste the charness of the grill. Wow, that's like the best scallops ever. It's a jaw workout. <laughs> Mm. Alright, now we have two types of clams over here. So I'm going to try the smaller clam. And it's really nice and golden in colour. So, and there's a lot of juice in the clam too. This one has a very strong sea taste, like yeah. minerals. They give it the, the flavour of the sea. Wow. So this is the turbine shell. It has a little unique shape here, like a conch. Ah, wow! Look at that! But it's a very strange looking uh, sea creature. This one has a flavour that's a bit different from the rest. Still saltier and the strongest flavour too. So I finished all of it. Wow, I think this is a really great experience guys. Fresh seafood, hand-picked by Ama. It's really local and it's very fresh. This is the first time for me. I think this is like a new look. Now I'm putting on the top. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, so this is my transformation now. I am now ready to uh, dive into the sea <laughs> to catch some fresh seafood. Wow, it's actually really breezy. Really like. It's gonna be my new hobby, my new job from now on. <laughs> wow. This is new for me. Can you hear the sea calling? <laughs> so I am now very near the sea. And uh, a real Amasan would actually dive in too and catch some real seafood with their hands. But today I will not do that <laughs> because I am uh, feeling safe today. This is as close as it will get. Right, our last destination in Nagoya for those who want to see a nice beautiful view of the nature we are here at the Yokoyama Observatory and this is right on top of Mount Yoko so I've just climbed up the stairs to get up here and we are now about 200 meters in altitude and this is really amazing view This, this is really, I think, the highlight of this place. The lush vegetation of a lagoon or a river flowing down towards the side. And it's just so picturesque. It's almost like a postcard. This gives you a good bird's eye view over this place. Alright guys, that's the end of my Nagoya vlog. I had such an amazing time here. It's been so fulfilling and I get to see so many exciting places. I hope you guys managed to find this video really eventful and also come to this place and try it for yourself. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!